players, pretty well known for going Wailing Woods. They'll wait till a late drop. You've got in your bottom right there, uh, Nate Hill from FaZe flying in. He's looking towards Fatal Fields. Uh, but pretty much everybody, like we've seen, consistent spread. Not a whole lot of engagements. Uh, uh, like, not a whole lot, of, you know, there's no more than like five or six players in a single location, even less than that. Typically, retail has a handful there. We have one, two, three, four, five, it looks like, at Tilted. Two players laying on the south side there. Uh, this is back over the uh, over in Fatal Field to see. Running around. Nate's going to try and get this. This is a, an outside of Fatal Drop. Full shield, a good pickup early. He's got an AR, some bandages. Nothing, uh, I was uh, literally about to say, nothing up close. Picks up an SMG. A decent kit early. You'd want to look for a uh, a shotgun. But I'd like to point out, uh, Jack, that the anti-grav shield, the bubble is there yes. visually. But just so everybody's aware, the effect itself has been disabled, like yes. we said. So don't worry about the fact that you can see the bubble. Again, it is not, it's not engaged right now. <laughs> now I just want to go home and fly around the map. I do. <laughs> turn, turn that into a thing. Either way, here's Ranger, who's got a tactical shotgun and a rocket launcher. Interesting loadout off the break. I think he realizes that as well. When you have the rockets, it's so key to get that high ground established right away. Rockets so much more lethal when you can obviously shoot down onto your opponent with them. This is Saint, who continually lands near this Greasy Grove area. From my experience in previous summer skirmishes, no, he's been Klinger. Remember, Klingers do flat 100 damage, so thankfully the shields will save him, but he's got to try to disengage, and he only has two builds. This, is, this, this looks like it's going to be a disaster for him. Looks like he got potentially a little distracted by uh, looking for knees down underneath. Oh, and Bowman took it. Yeah, it was Bowman from the backside coming up from the south. Chuck that uh, that clinger. But Bowman now focuses on knees inside the building. And Let's another player four player. is into the match. Bowman very low here. He's tossing the remote explosives. Maybe take an opportunity to pop that med kit. You're not going to have another time to do it. Gets the mini a faster use. So the mini is going to take priority. He wants to get a, any buffer he can. Tyler's in the feed, by the way, getting an elimination in there. But Bowman gets that, that mini use off. Crashy, the player pushing up here. Oh, Nice with the little out of Bowman. Crashy's oh. got to follow us up quick because look, I mean, look at the health he has right now. 200 HP, that was his last build. He's got a great swap combination between that heavy shotgun and the drum gun, which still has a full clip, and there's all sorts of loot down low. Saint ex uh, dropped the rocket inside through the building, explodes. Oh. Nice. So now it, it for this is from the outside. So Crashy may not realize if that was Saint from up top of the hill. The player inside, he knows is gone now, but he, he's got to try and figure out where it came from. Saint sliding down for a little bit of fall damage there. This is Aiden back in Tilted Tower. Look at his first elimination. Catches Sakairos off guard, both dropping on top of the big red apartment building. Comes away with a purple AR too, which is a really good pickup, but it doesn't even matter. Look, he already has a gold AR. He's going to push inside with his chest and it, the hope for shield. And I think he just pulled one right yep. there before it got away. It's it's interesting. Uh, this is probably the first game where Nick has actually reached max shield before Aiden. I think Aiden will catch up though here soon. Ecstatic, the typical third party in the uh, in Tilted. Here's your leaderboard for right now. Uh, Aiden with a, an elimination there. We get this sorted by elimination count. Uh, Morgasso, you see the score. This is your leaderboard sorted by score on the far right side. Uh, Morgasso was at eight, blind. Second place is six. Nate Hill, Aiden, Bizzle, and Saf rounding up that top six. So Already the 500 can. material. Such Full a good match. Three remote explosives. He's got a swap weapon and upgrades his shotgun. And just for everyone at home, when we say swap weapon, we're talking about the submachine gun. So he can take the pump shotgun shot, and then because there's that delay before you can fire the second shot, instead you swap to a spray weapon, whether it's an SMG, a drum gun. Some people even just use an assault rifle. That's all you have, you know, you gotta take the opportunity. The reason being, during that like cool down period after you took a shot, you'll see it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Swaps the 96 off and now he's tag right there. The FPS knowing exactly how to utilize that timing, basically the, the right amount of AR spray and then swap back to the shotgun to try and go for another shot. Shotguns hit so hard up close. And these up close fights, every single point of damage matters. If he's accurate, he's in the right amount, uh, he's the right range away before damage drop off takes over. The timing on that could be key. It could be uh, the difference between a one shot and, and maybe your opponent spraying you down while you're trying to get the, uh, the shotgun shot off. The FPS is. Instead of building himself, he's just going to reset to the high ground. And he's dodging these clingers, so it looks like he's kind of read his opponent perfectly. It's Alpha Amons just inside the build and brick. And look, he's shaking his head. You can see in that camera, frustrated with the position he's in right now. Not a lot of health, very exposed, and the FPS is maxed on HP. 
and he's going to match the build right now. I think the end might be near for Alpha here soon. Yeah, Alpha pushing up against the top down on trying to get the jump shot. Good shot. FPS kind of layering away. He's got multiple layers there. You're basically, right at the, the perfect spot to lay a floor back up a uh, step, lay another floor. So there's multiple, uh, multiple wood platforms that's being. Oh, Alpha no. Amon's get, deciding to go for it. He's trying to get the top down. He's got to hit big shots here. It's 100 HP, 100 shield on his opponent below him. It's almost to a point where, like, Alpha has to hit, like, a snipe headshot or something. A ridiculous scenario he finds himself in. The FPS just rotating all around, bouncing. Looking for that perfect... It, it, it's also a thing where if you're... The FPS, if you're wondering why he's kind of playing this slow, yes, he doesn't have the high ground, but he almost doesn't want to take any damage either. Right? He knows he's got a heavy advantage, but he's looking to just get that perfect opportunity. Now might be his chance. It might just be time to spray this player down, shoot that top left structure, and it might all fall. He's got a... It looks like there's two connected points. If he goes for it, which is exactly what he's going to do, he's got that... The, the arch, the half arch is all that's holding it up, and here it comes. Alpha's got to drop down and save himself with a build. Lands on top of the building, just barely got down fast enough to not take any fall damage, but he's still basically one shot at this point. One pump shot is going to be all, all it takes. Bush catches him in the corner, and there it is. First elimination for the FPS. An excellent set of plays there. Yep. Made just the right time to push. Here's a, another side of the map. Grip mate. Not much uh, useful weaponry in his inventory. What? An 82. I take back everything wow. I've ever said. <laughs> catches Landock, uh, our first winner off guard there, Takata. Right here in shifty shafts, jumping around trying to get the top down on his opponent, drops in and a big hit, two, two HP left, for crashing, he does have a med kit and mini, so he's still, you know, you give him give him 20 seconds, he's back to 150. No, Fade went to drop the port of fort and it actually spawned above, above him, him, so he wasn't safe. It's so key when using those port of forts, especially on uneven ground that you jump as you activate it, so you land above the layer of the port of fort. Here's Aiden at only at 100 HP, seems like he's been tagged up quite a little bit. Who's nearby? Nibs is nearby. Marksman's nearby. Ecstatic is here. Uh, no idea if Nick Merckx is still in this game or not. We'll have to get you guys an update on that. Looks like he might have still been inside the big gray tower that he, he tends to. If, if, it's, if it's anybody in there, it's going to be Nick. Uh, but once we can once we can see that, we'll let you know. But that this might be the, the busiest tilted we've seen in quite a yep. while. And this is the first time I think we've seen Aiden decide to, to back out. Maybe too many people. His loadout, though, no shield, not a whole lot of materials, but a, a gold AR, a gold heavy shotgun. Yep. In here, I wonder if he's going to try and hit a big deagle shot on this. The, uh, the, the sorry, the, the purple hand cannon. Top boy dropping down. Uh, looks like he got an elimination on blue tee in the feed there. He's got a revolver, as you know from the most recent developer update. That'll soon be uh, vaulted here in Fortnite. So, a little homage to our soon-to-be lost friend. Chris is just going to run away from that fight. What is this end? What is this zone? What is this zone? Literally half of it is out of play. And that's a mountain right there, too, Lupo. There's that's one of, of the tallest mountains in the game, right above Flush Factory. You see somebody hanging out way north, way outside the zone. Nick Wait, is still alive. Nick is still alive. Zero limbs yet, just playing very passively. Nibs is running out. He Everyone's fanning on out of here. Yeah. Nick's Towers. <laughs> Make the MFM proud, Nick. He's got to try and uh, he just kind of needs to buy his time. He's got 55 seconds. He doesn't necessarily have to rotate just yet, but, and he knows. Look, Ecstatic doing it, literally what he saw him, we saw him do la last match for just a second there we cut to him, and he wasn't even moving, just yep. standing still, trying to listen, uh, wait for these, these players to kind of engage each other. He doesn't want to get in, involved in any of this, leaderboard being high on his list of things to go after, so I don't blame him in the slightest. Nick deciding he heard some shots. Might be time. Going to drop some grenades in there. Hoping for a single or a double. Ecstatic goes down. He's still have two players in there. X's looks like he uh, eliminated Ecstatic. Grenades don't catch any damage. Looking for maybe even just a damage number. Even if you're not on top of it, you'll see the number pop up when you get a hit he's, with it. And he's going to have to make a decision soon. I was about to say, he's either got to move or he's got to push this. And I think he's going to do the, the ladder. Here he goes. Nick Merckx now moving on in. Here's a ton of shots going down. Expecting players to be weak. He wants to play this high ground. Sees one inside. Can't get a tag on the player. One off to his right at double L's as well. Nick obviously doesn't know exactly where Exus is with that little HP. There's a third player as well down here too. I think this is Envy Gorilla, I believe at least. 
It's a shotgun shot off on him. Looks like it was still shield damage. He's going to know that his opponent still has some sort of uh, defense there. He has the weaponry for this. Between the drum gun he, and the blue pump shotgun. The rare pump shotgun, but he's going to go ahead and fall back for now. He so, just ran out of explode ammo, too, so he's got nothing left that in that grenade launcher. Maybe uh, three or four more explode ammo. He could have just kept dropping them in there, kind of exposed. And I can tell you, Nick, Nick, Nick isn't happy to be leaving Tilted at zero limbs. This is the first game where him and Aiden, I think, both leave Tilted without a single elimination. Jay Monk of phase out here, trying to rotate. Looks like southeast, he's going up the ramp. This ramp already built, so he didn't have to waste a whole lot of materials. It's a good option to, especially in competitive games like this, you don't want to burn through a ton of resources. You're going to, in the future, if you plan on, on going for late game, you're going to get caught up close next to somebody and have to most likely take advantage of turbo build, try and keep a, a layer of defense between you and your opponent. You need all the materials you can get. Look at Cease here. 650 wood, 770 brick, 140 metal. He's sitting on a ton of materials. And he's actually in a little build engagement with Morgoss, who, if you remember, is our first place player up to this point. Quick update on the actual eliminations this game. Animal, who's one of the two players this week with a 10-plus elim game for the victory, actually has four elims so far, and still a ton of players left. A handful of uh, players still alive, too. We have Top Boy, Gorilla, uh, Morgoss, Rio, Struggs, Toccata, and Tylers, who are all sitting at two eliminations apiece, which means one fo one more for each one of them uh, is uh, is a point for this game. And every single point counts. It could be the, the difference between, uh, you know, the uh, 21st through 100 placement prize of 5,000. You got to remember, everybody comes away with 5,000. They made it to the grand finals, which is huge. But a single point could push you up in the top 20, and that could be massive. A lasering Takata establishes his... Uh, Animal, who actually got that elim. That's now five for him. Two-point game for Animal. Ribs, Saf gets the FPS and the feed there. Ooh, it's Nick, Nick Merckx out of the zone! You know, cla literally immediately clapping here uh, at PAX for Nick. Marsh City's eliminated by the storm there in the feed, you see. It's kind of a stalemate here at the edge of the circle. Movement's going to have to happen before too long, and both of these players are established in their little box. They have a minute 20. They have plenty of time. Trying to make a decision. Nick could drop his uh, his campfire, too. This is Tyler's and Triz back in the bottom floor, tilted, hanging outside the zone, trying to just peek for that quick shot. And he gets Triz from the top window of that door. He was so far into the zone still. Over to Rio now, spraying that LMG, swapping the scar, and whoa. Gets the one bullet to connect. That's all he needed. Knew he was weak. And that's three eliminations for Rio, which gives him a point for this game. And Hysteria is still in this. And I, I can tell you, Hysteria landing greasy. He's been very happy to see the zone since we swapped off Dickie Attacked and look at Eman. Back to back. And a limbs, but then Aiden actually cuts him down. So Aiden and Nick each now with an, a limb on the board. Aiden actually has two right now. He's one away from uh, picking up another point for the day. That'd be uh, Aiden's fourth point. Rex is hanging out in his own. There's a little box over there. That's the clingers, see the clingers flying over the top of Nick. No help from his AR right there, not getting any connects. Gosh, I can tell you right now, Nick wishes he had some splos left from his time in Tilted to be able to use. And that's a brilliant wall. That wall's gonna block out the sight line of the player in that build just next to him so he can put some pop shots down on this player who's trying to run away from the zone. Nick will have to move forward, and that's when this is gonna get absolutely awkward for him. Expect the player up, up top to probably prioritize Nick here. Got a couple of trees as natural cover, some uh, structure that was built by somebody else, but I think he just saw it. Looks like there was like a window peak to a southwest 240 up there. Somebody might have edited a hole out and try and take shots at him as he's rotating and he Dude, covered this, himself. this zone is absurd. It is. This is, it, what would you say, like 40% of it is over the water right now? This is yeah. Aiden's second elimination. Right on the coast right here, Cash is a player, it's Emad, we watched that just a second ago, we commented on Emad establishing a double there on the uh, and, so and That was Emad who got a double, but then he eliminated Emad, meaning three players worth of loot was there. So now he's added a ton of materials, shields, and a legendary compact SMG to his inventory. I don't think Aiden picks it up unless it's uh, unless it's legendary at right? this point. Uh, apparently. That kid is insane. It's like everything gets, that gets dropped in front of him upgrades out of the person's inventory. Players underneath and making quite a bit of noise. Just eliminated his teammate Brandon. Tempo going for a fast out of the side window there. Aiden with another elimination. I believe that that will put him at three, right? Making him uh, another game with another point. He's been so consistent with that so far today. Kayun just 
just got elimination in the feed, but Top Boy takes him out. We have players countering players, and this is all very much on the coast. Imagine somebody sliding down to try and be on the outside edge. We'll see, depending on this next circle, there's going to be time to move relatively soon. we got five seconds before this finishes. Flush Factory still has a ton. The top of the hill, like you said, one of the tallest hills in the game. There's going to be a lot of players at the wow. top down, and here we go. Flush this Factory has zone. to move out. North side has to move out. All these players are looking at right now. It's time to move. Here are those clingers. Way earlier on. That was Crunch who got the pitch on the sack. But this next zone, half of it is on one of the tallest mountains in the game. The other is on one of the lowest valleys. So high ground going to be everything here. Here comes a nice little build engagement. Cease dropping down the remote explosive, but gets shot in the back. He tunnel visions on replays and pays the ultimate price. C4 is sit still sitting up top, so you got to be careful that nobody else uh, maybe notices that and shoots it if you're moving on the top of it. But Aiden here, very top corner, top of the map, edge of the map. He's looking for an edit down on his opponent. Bold he knows that this player has has the double barrel. It's got a unique sound effect, which is so key to listen out for. Bolt Naga also has the rift to go in his inventory. Maybe in a panic position. He could use that to actually, he might use that here to get the high ground on the top part of the mountain. We'll put him basically all they the way have to up move there. in 30 seconds. Go bolt hiding underneath this is the player we were just talking about. Aiden's going to keep watching for him and listening while engaging another player. This is basically taking two fights at once, and I think the idea is maybe you can pull an Elim from at least one of them while somebody's rotating. Everybody's in front of him or underneath him at this point. Yep. So he does. He knows he's not going to get caught off guard from the back. He's not going to get caught televisioning from any of them. But that the top of that hill, Courage, they have vision on literally everything. This is Cease from earlier on. Saw it. Brandon building on up and whiffs the hunting rifle shot, but thankfully for him, Brandon gets quickly cut down. And then I think there was a second player here. I believe that's more Goss hiding underneath him. Really want to take the shot. Also, the same, the same hunting rifle shot, just barely missing again. One of those is going to pay out, but he clips more Goss on the rotation. Talk about just me. over the build, too. Here's Asteria, zero limbs so far. Nick Merckx has eliminated Tenpo. That puts Nick Merckx at four elims. That's at least one point. And I know. one more elim, that'll put him at five. Asteria lasers down Aiden. And look okay. at Aiden got, I think got a little scared by that. Nick now at four elims. Has a point on the board. Nick's got a ton of family here this weekend. It's funny, keeping an eye on his dad every time uh, Nick gets in a fight. I got eyes on him. And he's listening to uh, Neo, actually, someone who, you know, if you don't, from Nick's streams, they game a lot together. Neo's telling him every little bit that's going on, making sure he knows exactly where he stands. He got blessed by this next zone, too. Nick, though, only 49 woods. He's got four builds total. Uh, it's a cease from earlier who was just putting on an excellent show. But Nate Hill, look at this, hiding in the shadows up here and takes shots at cease. The, uh, the tunnel vision did, it kind of caught cease off guard there. Nate Hill took advantage of it. I think Merck's at like said, four limbs, three he, builds he left right now. He can stay hidden here for so long, though. I mean, he's, he's inside the safe zone. Yep. Like, He's like a ghost. People are just not even going to think of him being down here. Hiding in the shadow, too. Players that even rotate past might not see him hiding. Yep. He's got, oh, this is actually, a, it's an excellent spot for him to be in Bizzle on the rotation. See, player, this is, this might be the most spread we've seen the field for quite, in quite a while. I think a lot of it's the verticality of the mountain. Look at how yeah. awkward this is, trying to build that up. I love this camera shot right here. Great stuff, production. Sean, like, catch, Sean was taking catching Kuros on the, on the rotation up the stairs. Off yep. guard is hiding in like a little side chamber there. Life of Bizzle from Ghost Gaming to move up as well. A lot of these players, they're going to decide when to rotate. And it looks like more players are going earlier than we've seen in the past. Oftentimes, we see a lot of players deciding to wait till the last second. But it's because, like you said, the verticality is deciding that right now you need to move. Because not only do you have to build forward, you got to build up. Unfortunately, you can't use your pickaxe to break down the entire mountain. So players have to move early. Ghost Bizzle doing just that, moving towards the zone. I wouldn't be surprised if he makes it into the zone and immediately just boxes on up. Yep, there you go. He's trying to make it close enough. He needs to get right around this corner, and now he's good. Time to box. Ooh, he does take a heavy amount of damage, though, before he's able to get the wall down. And start building those chambers out. Shots are coming out, though. Somebody's trying to challenge this little set of boxes he's building. He's still getting shot from the side. And the reason they're even spraying him even more is his build auto-switched from brick to metal, which is a sign that he's out of brick, which makes you think if he's having to use metal now. He's probably very low on materials. Tifu's still in this game as well, alongside Jeomok. Replays and Sinful caught in the bottom. This is going to be a yep. fight to stay ahead of the storm and ahead of their opponent. I feel like both of them are going to get a limb right here. 
Nick Merckx sitting on four of them. Go, maybe looking for his fifth right now, listening. He doesn't have any builds left, so he's chasing. He's going to spray the wall down and catch his Rex inside his own box. That's two points for Nick Merckx. Top 20 left. He makes it to top 10. That's another point soon. He does have, and he's got a med kit. That was a smart play from Nick. He goes to pick up the opponent's grenade launcher. He had zero ammo in his grenade launcher, but Nick was hoping that if he picked up the other grenade launcher there, that there might have been some ammo still left in the clip. Unfortunately for him, there was none, but a sign of a smart player as, oh my goodness, hysteria. If he gets sneezed on right now, I think he's eliminated from this one. I think if Nick flexes his traps, hysteria's character would uh, get eliminated here. Bizzle moving up, trying to get a, an advanced spot up this hill. He doesn't want to get caught off guard outside the zone. You see he's already rotating towards the east side of the circle. He saw the fact that, yeah, that's the side he's going to have to go to. The next circle, it's a full movement. Everybody's got to relocate. you got to get ahead of the zone if you want to move and stay alive. So, like, every time he pushes out and makes another one of those, like, little one-by-ones, he's burning through 60 material, and he's only got 200-something left, so... That's all going away quick, strong. Someone we saw earlier on, we got an interview with him after he had a big performance earlier in the week. There Here comes go. the zone move. Rio launch pads up to the high ground. Nick Merck's having to go. Bounce pad time as he's going to try to keep up with the zone. Oh, he's going all the way to the low ground with barely any builds left. Mix on six eliminations right now, by yep. the way. One more would put him at seven. That's three points. He's got two points already from this game. Good Rio shots, in the fight. Rio. Sean trades out battle him. You see Strugs now d down. Nate Hill still in this one as well. Nick Merckx with another elimination on That's base seven. soldier. I think that puts Nick at seven eliminations. Three-point game for Nick Merckx as this is going to move him way on the scoreboard now. now. Another he's... elimination from Nick. That's team and he's down. Top 10. A statement game from Nick Merckx. And he's got med kits to use. Nick Merckx can win this game. Heavy, super low HP. You've got a whole ton of players above him, and he's sitting pretty down at the bottom. He's get, he might have the ability to rotate along the edge of the storm. You see with the, the location on the minimap, it's going to carry all the way along the base, and he catches Another somebody player. on the way down. He's trying to, trying to go for materials. Elim number nine. He needs these materials. Every elimination from here on out is icing him again. He's going to push from if he needs he's to go a little up, bit. He's got seven builds left. Player's just inside. He doesn't realize he's to his left. Nick can only build seven walls. He's already earned himself four points this game. He's got to save those for moving up the hill. Yep. He can't waste too much of them right here. Luckily, he's got a little bit of defense here. Somebody already built wood. He's got to move up, though. He can't stay down on the bottom because he's about to be outside the zone. Now's oh, the time, no. Nick. you got to move. Oh, no. Get inside. Look, get can't... inside. Here we go. Nick, he's in. Solid play. Excellent job staying inside. But he's got players all over. No! Nick Merck slides down the mountain. No builds left. It's over. Five players left alive right now. And 72, 72 hours. Nate Hill, Mac, oh. Hovzy. Top five situation. Nate Hill already in a brilliant position. Oh, Spot 72, 72 hours. hours. That's a free limb, which gives him another point. Remember, if he makes it to the top three, he earns another Nate Hill, who is already in our top five. Might be making a move up the leaderboards, folks. Four players left. He's got no builds, so he's got to use whatever he can for cover. Look at look at the height difference. So Mac is done. That's top three. Another point earned for our remaining players. Poves, he's got no builds left, so he's going to get dropped on down. He's got a player right underneath him. Bolt but all the way up top. Look at that, Nate Hill. This one v one situation. Nate Hill still left alive, and Bolt's got the top down on everybody. He might even have an opportunity. He, just he, he's layering up. He's he going for a he heal can't off. Drop, though. He might be able to fall down to that next level, but. If Nate's able to heal on up a little bit, I'm not sure exactly what Nate has. He can maybe shoot him down. Right now is the perfect time for, for him to just hang out up top. He's at 95, which means he can start the med kit before the zone closes all the way. He doesn't have to push for, for the elimination Nate, on Nate. Th 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 there's, there's five seconds left. Nate's going to have to try to spray down whatever he can. Bolt Naga can build out one Bolt. more structure. He's got zero limbs this game. He's been playing for the Victory Royale. He's got a medkit he can heal with. You see position. He's about to position himself yep. on the line. The seam between the two. Nate's got to keep spraying. Nate out. has to keep spraying. He cannot let this go to a heal off. He knows it as well. He's got to keep spraying. Nate, the game potentially slipping out of his hands. He needs to keep spraying the structure above. Nope. He's not going to be able to outheal him. This one's done. He's not going to be able to outheal. He does not have a med kit. This should be a heal off in favor of Bolt Naga. It's going to come down to the wire. Nate spraying, doing whatever he can, but it's not enough. Zero eliminations, by the way.
but the victory royale. The and zero 25, limbs. Twenty-five thousand dollars richer God, because that's he played. YouTube clickbait. He played smarter know. than anybody else. <laughs> Waited until the very last second and got the heel off. See Nate a little disappointed in the fact that he uh, he, got, he got caught off guard. No builds left underneath. He had to just try and spray down, and even even the little amount of metal yep. that that he had left was enough for Bolt to secure uh, just the platform he was standing on and get himself a, a victory That's royale. the name of the game right there. Oh, though. Yeah. It's 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 a br victory royale is something everyone wants to achieve. That's three points, zero limbs. It does not matter. He outlasted everyone in the lobby. Congratulations to him. You know, Nate's, I think, his window of opportunity, and it was awkward because the metal was just starting to build as he was trying to heal from that last fight. But once that metal finishes from that range, too, with the damage fall, I mean, it takes so much.